welcome back and let's keep talking about networks okay in this video and big again because I want you I want to show you one device uh, and you see that I'm also blurry okay that means that no one gave me a new computer and that means that my students want to fail okay but that's up to them okay uh, let me show you this device okay this is a router right don't bother about the antennas okay this is a uh, is a, a router that it's also Wi-Fi uh, access point so the antennas are not important right now okay the important thing is uh, are these connectors here right up to this moment we have been using on our simulations uh, private networks okay uh, that are co with different devices connected using a switch okay but on the real world, uh, our private networks, for example, the, uh, the, the private network that you can have at home or the network that you may have at work, okay, private networks are connected to external networks, okay, to the internet, for example, right? How do we connect one network to another one? Using a router, okay? A router is a device that can connect two or more different networks, okay? This router is a domestic router that can connect two networks. Here, Okay, and this connector here with the with the white, uh, or I mean with a yellow label. Okay, here it says internet, and these other connectors with the yellow, uh, sorry, with the blue label. Okay, they say Ethernet. Okay, this connector which here is called internet is usually called WAN. Okay, with double U that stands for wide area network. Okay, that is the wide network outside our local network. And these uh, ports here, which here are named Ethernet, they are usually called LAN, okay, with an L that uh, stands for Local Area Network, okay, our private uh, network. So a router, this router, for example, can connect one network, one external network with this connector to our internal network, and it has four connectors, uh, so it acts like a switch for our in, uh, for our internal network, right? So this router can connect one external network to an internal network, right? Professional routers can have more than uh, more than two or, or four connectors. Okay, professional routers can connect uh, several. Uh, networks, domestic routers usually are used to connect the internet and external network with our internal network, okay, so they connect two networks. Usually the connector used to connect us to the internet, to the external network on, on domestic routers is called the one connector, okay, wide area network and the connector or connectors because they, they, may be, they may be more than one used to connect our internal devices, okay, is called the, are, are called the LAN connectors which stands for local area network, right? So let's see in our simulator how can we uh, connect two different networks using a router. In order to go on with our explanation, I'm going to load the project that we created on our previous exercise about DHCP. Okay, here, if you remember, we have a network with several computers, a DHCP server, and two of them, okay, the, both the DHCP server and the, one of the computers had static IP addresses while the rest of the computers had dynamic IP, IP addresses that are received from the DHCP server. Okay, I'm going to arrange this a little bit and I will continue once I have arranged all the computers. So I'm going to add a new element. Right, I'm going to save. and continue. I'm going to add a new computer just to make it a little bit different. It's going to be a web server, right? A web server is a computer that contains web pages. For what we are doing, it really doesn't matter, but well, it's prettier, right? And I'm going to link it to this switch, which has a free interface, okay? This, imagine that this is a Google's web server, okay? This web server belongs to Google and is located at uh, another network, 
right? So it is going to be a public computer, okay? It's, it belongs to Google. We can reach it from all over the internet and I'm going to give it this IP address, okay? As this is the network mask, this IP address does not belong to our network, right? So what happens if I try to network diagnostics ping from this computer inside my network to this other computer outside my network. Okay, I've got an error. Network unreachable, okay? I cannot reach that network. But we can say, yes, but they are connected, okay? There is a cable here from the computer to the switch and from the switch to the server. Yes, but the thing is that although being physically connected, they do not belong to the same network and this kind of connection is not possible, okay? This is why we need a router. So, let's remove this connection and let's add a router. Okay, a router contains in the, uh, on, on this simulator, okay, it, contain, it has two connectors, one connector for one, okay, that should be connected to the outside network and one connector for LAN that should be connected to our local network. So I'm going to create a link with the router in one of the switches inside my networks, inside my network, and as this is connected to my local network, it is a LAN connection, and I'm going to connect the other part to the internet. Okay, let's imagine that this Google's server is the internet. So the one port, the one connector, will be connected to the outside element, right? Okay, and now I have to configure this router. In order to configure the router, I have to give it two IP addresses. One IP address will be for the one connection, okay, and it must belong to the same network as the elements on the one connection, okay, and the other connector will uh, need an IP address for the LAN network. So here it can edit the IP information for the one connector and for the LAN connector. If the one connector is connected to a network, okay, whose three first numbers are 888 and its network mask is this, okay, this IP address must also begin with 888. Okay, now the one connector belongs to this external network and the LAN connector, okay, I will give it the number 192, 168, 1254. Okay, remember that this is the last number that we can use. We should not, we should never use 255. Okay, let's save. And now this router is connected from uh, with its LAN port, okay, with its LAN connector to the uh, local network and or to the private network and with the one connector to the public network. Is this enough? No, it isn't. If I try to ping again to this IP address here, okay, I still get an error about network unreachable. Why? Because I need to tell my computer that if he wants to contact with someone outside its network, it must use the router. How? This computer needs a gateway. Okay, so I'm going to add a gateway to the computer. A gateway is an element that lets me go from my network to another network. Okay, real computers or real systems can have different w gateways in order to co be connected to different networks. On our case, we are going to use only one, right? Here we can have more than one, but I am going to tell this computer, okay, only by doing this, adding it, okay, that 
in case that it wants to go to any network right it must use this gateway okay this is the LAN IP address of the router so if I save now I can network diagnostics I can ping the outside server and get the response back okay through the gateway and what happens with the computers with dynamic IP addresses okay let's get an IP address for this computer okay so it will request it's the HCP info okay it sends a broadcast and it gets its IP address let's try to ping the outside computer network unreachable why okay for a static IP addresses for static configurations we define okay the computers gateway but this computer that has a dynamic IP address must receive its gate its gateway from the DHCP server so we have to configure the DHCP servers information okay to say that okay this is the range of IP addresses that you're going to manage and in case that someone wants its IP configuration you must tell that computer that it must use this gateway okay this is not the gateway for its connection right this is the gateway that is going to be given to those asking for configuration so I save this I will do this again okay send the broadcast the DHCP server understands it now with the new configuration okay so this is reconfigured and now I can go to network diagnostics and ping the external server okay and there we are you might have noticed a couple of things okay let's request the DHCP info from this other computer okay and let's post this okay when a switch gets a broadcast message it resends that uh, message through all its cables its connectors right but that doesn't happen with the routers okay the router received the message but it doesn't send it to the other cable okay or through the other cable why because the broadcast messages are only sent okay uh, inside the local network okay, inside our network they cannot pass to the other networks okay routers do not let broadcast messages go to different networks right so let's continue receive the configuration and now let's ping again the external server okay eight 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 from one of these computers and let's take a look at the message okay here if we look at the contents of the message we see that the source is this computer's IP address and the destination is this computer's IP address but what happens when it crosses the router now the source has changed okay the source is the routers one IP address okay and the destination is the same and when we get the answer the destination is not this computers IP address right it is the routers public IP address okay because this computer which is outside the network 
and has a public IP address, cannot directly communicate to any of these computers, right? Because they are inside the network. It tells the router, okay, that it is sending a message to this network, and then the router will know that it is a response to the message sent by this one, and it will change the destination's IP address right, in order to let it go to where it should go, right? That's it. Wait! Don't go! I forgot to tell you one thing. My computer, the real one, is connected to the internet, right? So, there must be a gateway inside my network. So my computer should know which gateway to use in order to connect to the internet, right? My computer should know my gateway's IP address inside my LAN, right? So how can I know which is the gateway my computer is using? Let's see it. First of all, I'm going to open the command console CMD and here I'm going to write once again IP config slash all as we did on our first video right here I'm going to locate my network configuration right remember I am uh, using a Wi-Fi connection right so I am looking for something like this okay so this is the data about my Wi-Fi connection. If I was using a cable connection, connection I should uh, be looking for something like adaptador de Ethernet or Ethernet adapter or something like that, right? So here, okay, this is my connection, and here I can see um, puerta de enlace predeterminada, okay, or uh, in English should be something like a gateway, right? But this is my gateway's IP address, okay? As you see, my computer and my gateway, okay, being this, my network mask, both are on the same network, right? Both belong to the same network because their first three numbers, okay, and their IP addresses are just the same, okay? Because, and because my network mask is 255, 255, 255 zero right here I can also uh, see another thing okay my computer is using a DHCP server right this okay the router in my case is also the DHCP server right it uh, doesn't have to be the same but in my case it is okay this means if my computer is using a DHCP server that means that my computer is using a dynamic IP address, okay? My IP address is not static, right? So, it is important to know that I can know which is my network's gateway, okay, by taking a look at this, right? And apart from that, okay, we have seen that we can also see that we are using a dynamic IP address because we are using a DHCP server, right? So, that's it. Now, yes, you can go. Thank you.